So I've been buying some Z dishes. Here's why, JC code ZZD. They're unbundled out of Barlow World on 13th of December. What we typically see in this environment is a lot of people don't want the share. Maybe they can't hold it because of their investment mandate. So we see a lot of selling and then potentially the value comes through and we see uplift. I've been buying between 13, 90 and 14 Rand. Who is Zeta? They've got the Avis and Budget brands in South Africa. It's about 38% market share in the vehicle uh, rental space. They've also got a uh, fleet business or leasing as they call it. Shortchester bought some 26% of the business and just over 18% is held by uh, Zahid Tractor and Heavy Machinery. We've had reports of a strong festive season. Uh, I spoke with uh, Rosemary Anderson of Fedhasa on my Money Web Now podcast, and she's saying, yeah, all indications are we were out there, we were holidaying, we are seeing tourists back from foreign climes. We're not yet at those pre-pandemic levels, but certainly we are very, very close to it. We've got results to the year in September on 23 December. Now, year in September means that it included December, Christmas 2021. Remember, Omicron, shutdown. It was an absolute disaster. Headline, headline earnings per share, 3 Rand 25. In 2019, 2 Rand 64. And I'm comparing to 2019 because, of course, that's pre pandemic. But still on a price earnings of around 4.3. For comparison, Motors, 5.5. Combined motor holding is on four and a half. I own CMH. They're not really the same. Uh, motors and CMH are very much more vehicle sales. They've got their, their rental business as a secondary business. No dividend or dividends went to Barlow World pre-unbundling and they don't have an official dividend policy, although I would expect them to pay out dividends. Uh, revenue for 2021 was 8.18 billion. 2019 was 10.1 billion. Yet, if we look at operating profit, one and a quarter billion for 2021 versus 1.1 billion in 2019. A lot of companies came out of this pandemic, frankly, better investment. Uh, car rentals, about 75% of revenue and about 75% of profit after tax. Rest is that leasing. There are some oddities in the number because they had to restock the fleet. Largely, that is done. Utilization, 79%. They can push that higher, but I don't think they can push it a heck lot higher. Inbound tourists in this period, 2019, sorry, 2021, were 8% versus 26% in 2019. So you can see that potential uplift for the current year, which will be to September 2023. Uh, rental operating margin, 14%. Leasing it runs at 21%. So some good profits to be made there. They spent about $5 billion on restocking cars. This is important. And we can see it in vehicle sales, but they've got the cars back. $4.4 in debt. That's reasonable. Decent cash generation. And I've got to say, a really diverse and young management team. Average age of the management team, 44 years old. So why did I buy? Those results to end September still include the previous Omicron lockdown and bans, etc. 2022 December will be much stronger. Rental rates are still high. Supply is still tight, although improving because they are restocking. Restocking costs already in the numbers. 2023 full year headline earnings, they did 325 last year. Could they do four rand? I think that's reasonable. What's a fair forward PE? Eight means a share price of around 32 Rand. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's say a fair forward PE is 6, gives us a share price of 24 Rand. I'm buying at 14. Now, let's be very clear. There are risks abound. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I'm doing. Some of the risks. Barlow World tried to sell Zeta and couldn't find a buyer. So therefore, they unbundled it. Hmm. Why did none of the big players or institutions particularly want it? Still lots of sellers out there. They will fade out in time. It's probably going to take a couple more weeks. Global local economic recession. Uh, that is, <laughs> you know, even if not a recession, it's tough out there. Consumer remains under pressure. But I've picked up some. Let's see how it goes.